I have tried a few methods of creating this grid and uh, I have now settled to one method using this tool and then mo editing the grid. So let us create the first default grid. So I click on that, type in 0, 0 and for the other corner I accept the default values, the default grid. So let me check the dimensions. Uh, labels and uh, linear dimension 1800 by 1200 now I along the x-axis I want to create grid which is at 0 6000 12000 and at 15000 but you can see the last grid is at 18000 now this uh, grid has odd behavior not fully documented now let me try to click on this grid and then try to move from this handle here so if I move from this handle you can see all grids are changing equally but however if I try to click on this grid and this handle and then move it across only that grid moves so let me move it by how much uh, what we want is 15,000 so move it by 3,000 and now that should be at 15,000 so that's the way I will create this grid there's another thing I want to show now so if, if I go past this grid then the last grid disappears so if I click here as you can see that has disappeared so if I want to go if I take it past grid 2 that this the third grid disappears now to add another grid I can click on that and then add another grid that uh, let's say 3000 if I want to move this grid then I select this handle and then move it by let's say 1000 if I want to add another grid I select that grid select this handle and then move along and say 4000 so you got the idea how to modify this grid hi guys thank you for watching the video and if you like the video please subscribe